Well, this is a very beautiful car, I must say. The cheapest one you can get to help me pay it off as quick as possible. <laughs> Wills and Zansi. Experience? Learn from me. Hello people of Mzansi, my name is Dan Nongwenya. Welcome to People's Wheels Mzansi. Um, today we'll be talking about this beautiful baby you see parked right here behind me. What we have to present here today is sort of the 2022 Polo Vivo. It's a comfort line 1.4 and I'll be taking you through a brief history of what has been happening during my time as an owner of this car. So let's get into it. Hey Ndando. Hi. How long have you had this car? Uh, I've basically had this car for nine months now. We're in, we're in November, so yes, it's been nine months. Okay. Um, I made the purchase earlier this year. Um, this would be March 11th, so the anniversary just passed a we few did. days ago. Oh, so um, we've celebrated a nice, happy nine months with this car just okay. a few days ago. Wow, and, yeah. nine months. Mm. It's not a very long time. And I noticed that you already have some dents, which we'll come to a bit later. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah, I mean, is this your first car? Uh, yes, yes, right. this, is, this, is, this is actually my first purchase. Okay. Um, and I would say I, 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 would have, I would have appreciated nothing more, actually. This is, has turned You're out really? to be a very great buy for me. Oh, wow. This is undoubtedly the most loved pair of wheels, you know, by young South Africans, especially young professionals. But I don't want to assume that is the reason you bought it. Mm. Uh, mm. Did you consider other options, like for example the Toyota Starlet, the mm. Kia Rio, or even the luxury uh, ones like the Audi A1 or A3, mm. or even the one the BMW One Series? Mm. Mm. Yes, uh, there, there certainly were some other contenders, um, and the, there's, there's many reasons why I would say that this vehicle won, right? Okay. Um, but you know, the, the, there was actually a lot of this, like sort of. Um, moving away from buying the car because of all these sort of safety issues and all these other unrelated things like how you know people say you might sort of walk into somewhere and then you might not find the park where you <laughs> parked it outside yeah you and come then, out in your garden <laughs> you know yes, or maybe you're missing the vehicle seen a lot of you, those stories on you know media. and I'm, so, I'm certain you've seen people with the missing say logo with with no vw logo now at the front or maybe now you're missing a headlights now you need to so there was all, all right mm, yes there was all that talk out, right? Right? right there was all that talk so um um, I, I, I considered a lot of things when I actually had to buy it, but when it actually came down to the crack of it, I think the one thing that made certain that I buy this was the sort of convenience of it all. So um, when I, I got the car, um, it was initially sort of a story where I went into the dealership this one morning. Okay. Um, I, 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 I just woke up out of bed and I was like, okay, today is the day, I'm going to go tell them that I want the car. Oh, I walked in, um, I, I, I looked it up a bit and I I'd settled on wanting to get a Polo Vivo because it was certainly the cheapest price of, say, the Polos. And I was only looking at Polos because I run Ironically, um, a quite close friend of mine had actually bought a Polo at the time. Ah, so okay. after I saw his, I was like, yes, definitely. I know this is what I want in my life and this is what's going to make me happy. So when I went to the dealership and I told them that I wanted a car, initially in mind, I had sort of a Polo Vivo, but just, you know, your trend line, nothing specific, sort of the cheapest one you can get to help me pay it off as quick as possible okay. right. and sort of be able to actually manage paying it while I own it, right? Okay. And then I walk in, I speak to the dealer, the dealer's be the dealers are very, you know how they are, they're trying to, you know, nudge I've, you by the shoulder, know. <laughs> you know. And then, so he gets to show me a couple of models. And then when I tell him what I'm looking for, he sort of says to me that, you know, for a person of sort of, who is as young as me, right. he thinks for a car that I'm certainly going to own for like, say, a minimum of four year, four to five years, right. I'd want to get something that I'm comfortable driving around. So had you told him how long you want to own it for? I, I actually had it at oh, the right, point okay. in time. But, but did you know when you bought it, mm, like the, how long you intend to keep the car you're buying? You know, I, I actually how we usually do it is that you sort of play it by ear, right? Okay. You see, you, you take you take what you can afford oh, at the time, way. you know? <laughs> you take what you can afford at the time and then 
as you sort of get higher in your sort of place of work and you get higher in terms of earning, right. you can sort of progress to higher sort of standard vehicles and all these things. This okay. is sort of the traditional way of doing it. So when I bought it, Most uh, common by many people, yeah, yes. you know, okay. when, 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 when I sort of thought, um, okay, I'm buying a car, I sort of thought that I would have to own it until I finish paying it up, you know, or sort of the duration that it would take me until I have enough money to trade it in and maybe upgrade into a better car. So I wait, wasn't. Wait, wait. Mm. You're talking about a lot of things here. Mm -hmm. Keep it until you pay it up, mm -hmm. or keep it until you trade it mm. because you can now afford to pay. For something better, mm, which yes, one? Yes. Or both options, well, I, I, depending on which comes first. You know, both options. I want. Okay, I, I wanted right. to keep my options as open as possible, depending okay. on what right. happens in the future. We don't okay. know, so we want to have as many options as possible. Okay. So I was looking at both those sort of ends of ownership, okay. but I, I, I was certain that for say maybe the next four years, I would, I would probably be driving right. the same car. And I think, given the popularity of yeah. this car, uh, you had realized that it would be easier for you to resell it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Because they actually yeah. don't drop value as quick as you'd expect other I cars to. I wouldn't know. I don't yeah. know much no. about Polis. Yeah. I, I mean, they, 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 they tend to sort of retain their value for okay. maybe a year or two afterwards because the, the sort of models that get released are sort of just a nudge up and right. so before you get that for the price that you would get it at you also want to make sure that you keep this at sort of a selling price that you can I still see. maintain something interesting for. Mm. Yes. okay so i mean now do you know how long uh, you intend to keep it <laughs> i mean i'm asking because you have uh, you have a couple of dents i'm mm. not sure if you are mm. comfortable with living with those have you reevaluated if you want to keep it for another year another three years five years or forever I mean, mm. where I'm, are you now in terms of that i mean I, I've, I've sort of decided that i i mean i really love the car now okay. you know All um, right. i think after the first couple of few drives in it i really sort of just fell in love and i wouldn't actually have a problem keeping it for as long as it runs but 10 years argument sake 10 years is argument it? sake yes i mean if 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 well if, if they allow you to keep it you I know guess. If <laughs> it, also if times are so hard i mean it would be a maybe a first great gift to sort of my uh, a child that i have in the future or maybe a nephew or ah, uh, well we're talking niece. 20 years now aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> because i mean do you have a child already no no yeah no, so no, certainly not. if you still have to give birth to one <laughs> they'll only drive once they're 18 so that's like 20 years mm, yeah and you think this baby can be like a Toyota. You know, Toyota Corollas, they can go for like 20 years. You know, especially like us, we see these Toyota Corollas, you can see this one. Or maybe you've known Lobaba who's been driving, driving it since we know. Like a kid, you know, <laughs> we're not like 18. And then now you've just finished varsity mm. and you're still driving mm. the same car. Yeah. So yeah. do you think this car can do that as well? I think, sure. I mean, provided the real owners, they allow you to keep it forever. Mm. I'm mm. talking about love, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Certainly. If you um, take very good care of it, do you think you can keep it for ten years? I think I think I can give it a try. I think right. I'm willing to give it a okay. try. I think right. that's how much I actually enjoy owning a car. I I, I wish. Yeah. I, I I hope I can get to keep it for as long as I can. Okay. I mean, when when it came down to the whole story of actually deciding to buy this car. Um, it was it was quite it was quite a miracle that I ended up with something that had no no kilometers on it. So for say like a brand new car, right? Because the first the first sort of idea I had was an import that was going to be a second hand from maybe sort of across the borders. And the only reason I was considering that is because the price they were offering for a second hand was just so it was inviting. Is you it? Know? It was inviting. I mean, what type of cars? Um, I mean, same. We Polo Vivo or I mean. Apollo would actually be comparable to something that you would look at maybe as a say a one series just okay. slightly cheaper so you'd oh, have maybe your one series anything between a 2016 to a 2018 model right. running for How anything between to um, 50 to 60 and then for one off once off. Interesting. Yes. Ah. And then the only thing you would then have to deal with is sort of um, getting a chair, getting the papers arranged. And, and this, how easy or difficult is that? That, that is the problem. It's so sort of I guess into, that is very challenging because mm, you have mm, to deal with SARS. You know. 
before you get to dealing with um, the registration office, uh, the licensing department. Basically. Yeah. So the logistics just proved to be way more sort of difficult right. than just sort of walking into a dealer right. and sort of asking them to finance you to get a I car, see. right? Yeah. So, I mean, it, although it would have been sort of nicer to have saved up enough capital to be able to pay a car once off, I don't think I would have been ready to deal with all the aftermath that comes with A, the logistics, um, B, the now maintenance that comes with having to own a second hand car. Right. Because my ideal sort of, my ideal sort of dream initially was a BMW 1 series right. and I've come to hear that they're really hard to maintain Is especially it? when yeah. they, they, they come from uh, another owner. So what would you say are the three things you like and three things you don't like with these wheels? Hmm. I mean, it's, 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 I must say, it's essentially difficult to find anything that I don't like because as you is can it? see for yourself, it's a very, it's a very nice looking baby. It is, but it has the look. <laughs> uh, right? Based on what I see on the roads, it has the power. Because, yeah, um, I mean, VW Polos, they seem to have some supersonic speed you on know, these roads. I, d so, I, d yeah. I, 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 I actually disagree with that just a tiny bit. Is it? Because okay. one of the things that I don't like about this car is the fact that I don't have a turbocharger. So I could be faster, ah. but I'm not. Um, as for instance, say, um, compared to someone who drives, say, a TSI of sort of the same range and model, they are a lot faster. Say I get to gear two and they get to gear two and we are not doing the same Is distance it? with ah. pedal down on both cars, I you see. know. So it's, it's, yeah, but I mean, different classes of vehicles, you know? right? Yeah, that's, 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 that's why we need more money too. Nice. <laughs> okay, sounds uh, great. Um, I would say the second thing that I wouldn't say I certainly adore about this car mm. is that um, the, it's sort of it could be it could be more sort of um, electronically friendly I guess like it could have more features that allow me to do more and sort of explore more. So in terms the, of the technology? Yes, in oh, terms of the, the technology. I mean what technology do you feel is lacking? I mean, I, I don't For example, know if... I mean, are all your windows winding only, up or is Only two of them are electric, only the oh, front. Oh, so it's only the front yeah, and so the rear. Mm, okay. the but rear that affects you have more to, your passengers and not you. You know, um, okay. but I would like to sort of have some sensory when parking. I oh, understand okay. parking is a very big thing for Yeah, based drivers. on those dents, you I agree know, that you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it would be great to help to have something that assists with that, especially for new drivers. You know? I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I mean, what else don't you like? You don't like the lack of technology. I don't like the power. Is not like the TSI, for mm -hmm. example. Um, Anything else? No. Right. I mean, I have a cruise control. I hardly ever use, but oh, I'm, okay. I'm not really right. complaining about yeah. this. I've never uh, used cruise, con cruise control as well in any vehicle. You know, so I, I, I think it's a great feature to have, but I just haven't found the right time to right. sort of explore it. Okay. Um, but yeah, as I said, very difficult to find anything to hate about. I see. Yeah. And is the sunroof an option for this car? Can you get the sunroof on the Polo V? I think I think I think I think so. I'm not sure, but I think possibly with the. But I'm guessing you didn't consider it at all. No, I see. no. I would have loved one, is but um, I think the, the the price range just takes it right. away out of reach What's just for you to have. Wise. You know, yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't for me. It wasn't worth it. Right. But when it actually turns out to to talking about the three things that I like about this car, the design was one of the deal So top of the list design. Top of one. the list was okay. just. I really love the way it looked because. Um, there's, it's actually um, a package. It's it's called the Black Edition package. Oh that's, right, that's I what see. gave me the so sort of I see the, yeah, the, the black roof and the uh, and the rims as well. So okay. that was one of the sellers for me. One thing that also really climbs up very high in the list is it has to be the fuel consumption. It's, oh it's right. Really, it's really what is this by the way? Is this one liter? It's a one point four. One point four. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That, that's that's yeah. also a tricky part because. Right. You know, you fill up and then they say, okay, the full, the tank is full and then you see 900 and something and then they say, okay, reserve tank and then all of a sudden it's like 1.3. <laughs> so I just... Interesting. Uh, it's it, but then I will, I've been in the fight of balancing sort of the excess and the, the installment fee, right? So, oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, those worries. Yeah, okay. yes. At some point, um, I was striking just below the 2000 mark at right. say 1.8 okay. but then at that point my excess was still around 
18,000. Oh, yes. So that was good. So I recently had it taken down to 12.5. Okay. And then um, the the installment now just rose to 2.2. 2.2 mm. insurance mm. for 12.5. Jesus. Yeah. So I mean, if some taxi argument say touch wood mm. was to bump you. You have 12.5 to say because you know it comes the the insurance whoever you are with they will say hey give us 12.5 first you before know? we do anything mm, I, I, and you find that the total cost of fixing you know whatever needs to be fixed is 20 grand yeah you end up paying more than they do yeah, yeah I, I, crazy, I think right? this this the, the, these these are the things we just have to face unfortunately with hmm. it's 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 sort of part of the saying that whenever you own things they also own you so yes i guess yeah. we just have to conform because yeah. i mean that 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 is sort of the worst case scenario but i guess in the best case scenario i totally total the car and then they have to give me a new right. car for 12.5 yes, yes, so uh, yeah. it balances but <laughs> you you obviously would always want to have a lower access than i do because um you don't want to have to be faced with paying so much just for something that you could easily fix for so much less. I see. But I guess it's also the deficit of being a new driver and having to own a car and essentially this one which is so high risk and all of these things. It, it, it all comes together, I guess, you know, okay. at, at, at some point in some angle that we don't understand, but I guess I see. <laughs> it all comes together. Right. Okay. Any other things you're paying for? Tracker? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, definitely have a tracker. Um, tracker is not that bad. I think they cost me um, 200 a month. 200 a month. 200 yeah, a that's month. what I pay as yeah. well. Okay. Um, I right. think besides the tracker, yeah. that would essentially be it. It's fuel consumption. What about parking? I mean, do you get free parking at home? Actually, I do that. Okay. That's, that's very. Is that's it covered parking? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, lovely. That's very nice. Okay. Um, it's, it's it's a complex with secured parking, right? Okay. Which is actually a factor that helps sort of decrease the in the, the insurance installment I in, see. in some sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm actually right. quite grateful that I right. can actually get to save on those. So I mean, what would you say is your dream car? Or maybe the next car after this? Let's say you keep this for five years. What would you like to move to? Ooh, I mean, you know, ironically, I think of my dream car and my next car as two separate conversations. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. I'm um, happy to hear both. <laughs> Ideally, I'd like to maybe be driving around in a Porsche someday. But in a Porsche? Yes. Yeah, okay. But then this is, this is only when I'm actually able to do this without having to pay for it in installments hopefully right but that that, okay. that that sort of requires that i become a very rich man in the next sort of 10-15 right. years but we'll see how this goes okay. um but the next that snake hunt going okay <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what it means. I mean, you, you know, I, there's, there's certainly plans to get one now because, you yeah, know, you, you, we need to progress in that. <laughs> but um, I, I, I guess for, for we won't really be needing it for my next purchase, I guess, because I think that one will sort of still be in range because I'm really just looking to get myself a nice bucky, if, oh, if, 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 if possible. Um, Anything between sort of a, a Ranger Supermax or a Ford Ranger Supermax or an Isuzu D3 would really set the tone for my next car. I'd really enjoy that. I think being a, a geologist, I'd want to be able to go to the field whenever I feel like it and not have to think about how much toll this is yeah. going to take on my car or yeah, whether yeah. I want to get something different. So I'd really like to bring the circles of my sort of work life okay. and personal life together. Right. Yeah. I feel like being in the outdoors, I agree. That's like. Know the best mm, buy think, to go for. Yeah, I think yeah. it will allow me to sort of live my life to the fullest uh, in, in ways that this beautiful baby can't. Not that I have anything against it, it's just, you know, you want to have access to more power. It's always useful. Right. Okay, lovely. Yeah. Well, Ndando, thank you very much. On thank behalf of Mzansi, thank you for sharing your wheels with us and no your problem. story behind your wheels. No problem We appreciate it. Uh, please continue to take great care of your baby, but please, no more dance, <laughs> you know, because, yeah, um, there's a lot of dance. Yes, yes, no, I totally understand. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for having me. All right. Mm.